Well, have I had a day today? Roll the intro, tell you all about it. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers, and I am the Scruffy Trader. And if you haven't been here before, it'd be great if you could subscribe and maybe drop a comment below, because the comments really do drive these videos. And the videos are mainly just me in this office and the one in my wife's office. And all I do is each day I go to the screens, I switch the camera on, because nothing's ever scripted. It's literally at the computer, flip the camera on and away we go. It's literally as simple as that because I am just showing you what I do for a living pretty much every day. Now in the last few videos I've been trading the DAX or the German 30 on some brokers and I did it again today. Um, it's a good market for out of the gate trades. In other words there's a good bit volatility on a morning. And you can capture some of that. Uh, but it's one of those markets that I treat quite carefully. It moves very quickly. And if you're on the wrong side of it, you know about it very quickly. So it's, it does have a nickname in this household called the widow maker. And it's because it can cost you a lot of money if you get it wrong. But anyway, I traded it today. I'm smiling, so it must have went okay. And I am super smiling because if you've seen some of the other videos, look out for a one called DNA of a trade. And basically what it is, it was the makeup of a longer term swing trade on the pound yen. And one of the last parts of it closed out today so I've only got one position running left on it now and it's paid me for the month and the moral of the story of Sean it is there's a lot of guys ask me about swing trading and working around their job now if you haven't got the luxury of day trading like I do I can do this all day and I do do it all day you can do what's called end of day trading. In other words, you look at the charts after you've come home once a day at the same time each day and you put a longer term trade on. Now, the risk reward on them are always great. And you're going to risk a lot because you're normally dealing on a high time frame, a four hour or a daily. So your risk is quite wide. I mean, my risks are normally one and a half times ATR. So if the ATR is 100, you're looking at a 150 stop loss minimum, just for rough maths. But the rewards are greater as well. Okay. So instead of getting 10, 20 pips, you could be getting 100 to 200 pips. And that was the, the basis of this pound JPY pound yen and I've been in it now this is the fourth week so it's taken four weeks but today's position alone would pay me for the month so sometimes you don't have to be in and out of the markets all the time you could look for one major movement and sit on it and if you had two of them in a month one of them pays you for the month and the second one increases your account. Simple stuff, guys. And when you see the position, when I come to the end of the trade, you'll see it wasn't massive. It was five quid. It was only at five pound a pip, which in the scheme of things is nothing. But wait till you see what it's produced over four weeks. Okay. It was a trade that it started a bit rocky but it's ended very well okay so let me play the DAX this morning 
Um, that is a day trade. And when I pull up the figures, I'm going to stay on the screen and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the pound yen. Okay. But today has been spectacular. That has been my word for the last two weeks. Spectacular. <laughs> Unlike some of the comments, but story for another day. They do make me laugh, some of the, the messages that I get. They used to get under my skin, they don't anymore. But the ones that are quite funny over the last couple of days, they're kind of telling me how to do my job. You ding dong! Apparently I don't target properly, um, scaling is a waste of time and how I enter a market is mind boggling to some. But it took me a long time to figure out something that works for me. And that's the key point, it works for me. So you may say it'll work for them, I mean let's be honest, I'm not exactly tidy. My name, the Scruffy Trader, has good reason. So I don't go to their job and tell them how to sweep up. So there you go. Anyway, let's jump on the screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So back to the DAX. What do you do? See if we can do it again on Thursday the 17th. So this is, no, we're successful today and tomorrow. That's a straight two weeks on doing this. So it is five to seven in the morning. There you go, let's see the candle. Um, we're looking at the setup, uh, starting to fall. So I'm gonna start putting some parameters in. Uh, extension. From around here, I wanted to get up to about there. Give or take. Pull it across. So I've got some parameters. Basically, I'm looking to get to the high of that. And that's what we're going to target. So, just a moment. So, if you see my head bobbling around, don't worry too much. Uh, it's just that I'm going to speed up the process. Uh, hopefully it'll be done relatively quickly, but we shall see. Okay. So I'll come back to you when the trade is pretty much done. Um, Cause I need to monitor a few things and then off we trot.
there you go guys I can certainly live with that for a day the DAX did pretty much what it was meant to do quite happy with that in fact I'd have been happy with just the DAX trade today you know started very early morning down here to catch this part of the move which came into the zone quite nicely as long as it's a happy boy you know, if everything goes to plan because of this Winky might get that gold bikini well living home anyway anyway so that went superbly well so why was I so happy about the pound JPY well as you can see in this that is a massive result on an investment of five pound a pip. So that is not out the reams of normality. Most people can trade at a five or a point. You know, you don't need a huge account to trade at that level. And does it have the opening on here? No, I just said when it opened. Anyway, it was about four weeks ago. As we are looking at this um, chart, the four hour chart is where I've been monitoring it. You can see I've got one last position open and that's currently sitting on 2000, okay? Because I've been scaling into it and adding. I've also day traded a little bit on it as well and carved some off and you'll see that in other videos. Because whenever I'm trading, I start with a big premise and then work my way down so it's all the same so if I'm starting with a big swing I'll still day trade that product because I've already given myself a premise of direction okay um, it's just maximizing but I have these positions that are left to run now yesterday I was explaining about the pivots and I do keep an eye on the pivots on these and the S1 and the S2 were close to the target point which it slammed into super okay now this one here as you can see it, it came in around this area whatever happens will pay me 750 pounds okay i keep the stop well out of the way because i wanted to breathe because the target is down here okay and if i pull this over it might be better if i did it on a on a daily because it is going right the way back what i'm targeting is the laws of these okay and that has come which the whole premise of the trade is this move here i'm expecting it to retrace the full hundred percent okay and that's where the target points that you have seen come from and if you come across again it's respecting there so i know it's a solid level that and that and it's been respected on a number of occasions so just added weight as to why I'm going to hold on to it. But the trick is to allow it to breathe. And that is why the stop is well out of the way of where the price is. If it comes back and stops me out, it comes back and stops me out. But the premise of the trade is still down. Okay. And that is it. So this last two weeks has been a little bit stressful uh, had a lot on and the part that's relieved the stress is this you see you need your big pay days to cover your small pay days and when you have a trade that comes in like this one the first position that I closed off so last week that you saw 
paid my wage for this entire month. The position that closed today has paid my wage for next month. So this whole setup that you have seen that has taken about four weeks to play out and it might even take another week for this to play out, even a bit longer. But the whole thing has paid me for three months. You know, because if you're seeing it, I had a big payday today, I had a big payday last week, and it had already paid me very well prior. So all you want to be taken away from this video, guys, is you don't have to be in and out of the markets all the time. If you can see an opportunity that's going to pay you very well over a period of three weeks, four weeks, whatever it happens to be, they're your major paydays. There's minimal work to be done. You just have to look at it on a four hour chart. So for me, that's eight in the morning, 12 noon, four o'clock in the afternoon, eight o'clock at night. That is it. That's all I need to monitor it. Many times I only look at it at the last thing at night, around eight o'clock at night, and I'll have a quick glance at it in the morning before I start the day job. And that is it. And they pay you far better than the day trades. Okay. So it's been a spectacular time. I am definitely having a pizza tonight because. Um, my turn to cook and as long as i've got a menu and a telephone i am a gourmet chef so i'm going to leave it there guys and remember do what you love and money will follow see you all in the next one